Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and today I'm going to be taking you book shopping with me. We're going to be looking for secondhand books in some local charity shops and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. So yeah, I really fancied going out today just looking for books, like secondhand books, and some books are for me, being a proud bookworm, you know, I've got to love the books, and also like, I get books to kind of do as giveaways on my social media, so yeah, just kind of having a good look round, I really enjoy it as well, like I just love looking at books and like finding some little hidden gems in charity shops and stuff, so yeah, it's going to be good. It's a very nice, sunny, bright day. So, um, yeah, let's go.
So I hope you enjoyed coming around charity shopping with me, looking for books. I absolutely loved it. I love looking for second-hand books. And yeah, it was just really relaxing as well, as well as exciting. Um, and I found some books. So I'm going to do a quick little haul now just to show you what I got. So, first of all, I thought I would get this classic by Susan Hill, The Woman in Black. Um, I love this here. It says, heart-stoppingly chilling. <laughs> Now, many, many years ago, um, I went to see the film of this, and it was really creepy. I have to say, it frightened the uh, hell out of me, but I've never read the book, and it looks like a little quick read, so I thought I could keep that for like Halloween time, because I do like some spooky, spooky books around that time of year. Well, to be fair, I read horror all year round, but there is something extra special about reading a creepy, scary book in the month of October. So yeah, Woman in Black. Um, also... Um, as I said at the beginning, I am looking for, well, I was looking for some books that I could do as giveaways. Come and follow me on Twitter at MinxLaura123 because I do lots of bookish giveaways most weeks. Um, and I like to give away lots of different like types of books as well. So for the giveaway, I found this, Erin Morgan Stern's The Night Circus. Now, people often ask me, what is your favourite book of all time? And I always say the same thing because it is The Night Circus. I absolutely love this book. This is the book that really got me into kind of being a major bookworm. And I just, it is so magical and beautiful. And it says here, dazzling, enchanting. And it is, it's just fantastic. So I want someone else to enjoy it as much as I do. Um, I don't know about as much as I do because I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> but I do want someone to enjoy it. So um, yeah, I got that for a giveaway. Another book that I got for a giveaway, which I also really, really loved. Um, I've got it downstairs. It's by Ruth Hogan, uh, who is a lovely lady, by the way. I follow her on Twitter and stuff. She's so nice. And this is The Keeper of Lost Things. This book... I'm not kidding. It was so beautiful and touching and just, I would actually like to reread this at some point, but yeah, it was so good. And I, once again, like the night circus, I'd love someone who wins this from a giveaway to just really, you know, enjoy it as much as I did. So yeah. Okie dokie. Now the next book I got, I actually got for my lovely fiance, Nathan. Um, <laughs> it's Jack the Ripper. Um, the Complete History of Jack the Ripper, the new edition by Felix, Philip Sugden. Um, and also I suppose a little bit for myself because it's part of my kind of history in the fact that I was raised when I was a kid in Whitechapel, uh, where of course the famous Jack was. Um, but yeah, so my grandma and granddad lived in Whitechapel. And then, you know, when my mum and dad were at work, they would look after me and like babysit. And I've kind of got, you know, a bit of a connection with the Whitechapel. Um, and obviously, yeah, Jack is the most, well, one of the most famous kind of murderers of all time. So um, yeah, me and Nathan can have a little look through that. Um, also, I picked up these. Now I'm going to sell these on eBay, which is also something I do with secondhand books, you know. Um, these are, I don't know how to say this properly, I'm probably going to be saying it wrong, Naruto, 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 that's how I'd say it. Um, so they're manga, 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 um, and I think it's a anime as well, possibly, like a show. So yeah, I've got number two, volume two, volume 17, and volume five. Um, yeah, this is not my cup of tea, but they were like one pound each, even though it said um, 120. He charged me like one pound each for them. So like three quid. And I hope that they will sell well on eBay. So I've got those. Now this one is for me. I'm really excited about this. Oh my God. So I first heard about this on one of my favorite booktubers channels. Her name is Mini Book Chats. Please go and check out the lovely Kate, Mini Book Chats. Um, and she was saying about this series and I was like, oh. So it's basically like a kind of modern um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer series. Now I have read a few other Buffy themed kind of books, um, but apparently this series is supposed to be quite good. And um, yeah, so it says from the world of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But I got a little bit confused, you see, because I thought this was number one in the series. But when I looked on Goodreads, it's actually number two. So I've got number two, but I've got number one. So it's so difficult to get. Like, seriously, I've looked on Waterstones. Haven't got it. Um, I looked on, where did I look? I think I looked on Smith's. I looked on um, eBay. And you can get it on eBay and Amazon, but it's super expensive. A lot of it's, like, imported from America. I don't know why it's such a big thing to get this. I mean, it's by Kendra Blake. He's quite a, a well-known author. 
who knows? But anyway, I will try and get number one at some point, even if I have to wait till like my birthday or something <laughs> if I get book vouchers. But at least I've got number two waiting. It's a nice hardback here. It says, into every generation a slayer is born, one girl in all the world, sort of. <laughs> so I, I, I used to love Buffy. When I was a kid, I used to love Buffy. Um, okay, so another book that I got, this is a really random one, but I just really love the cover. I thought the cover was so cool. It's called Another Kind of Love, uh, the Unforgettable Classics from the Golden Age of Pulp Fiction. So, yeah, I think by looking at it, it looks a little bit like it's LGBTQI plus themed. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just a bit random. I think, to be fair, it was mainly a cover by because I just love this cover so much it's kind of really retro looking um i've not heard of it it's by paula christian never heard of her i've heard of it just love the cover i'll be honest with you it's a complete cover by so we'll see i think there's like two sort of stories in one book so yeah it's look it's just something it's something different um then i have this one here which i've already been looking through a little bit and just laughing so much because oh my god I do um say a lot of these things <laughs> so these are very British problems book and it's by Rob Temple I think there's been a few of these um I love the cover as well even the cover is funny because you've got it's raining and the umbrella going inside out and oh my god when that happens so annoying but yeah it's just really funny there's different there's different little categories and um little like illustrations are really really cute and funny as well so look we british people are well known for moaning about really silly petty things and i'm one of those people that do moan about things it says making life awkward for ourselves one rainy day at a time and of course yeah we do get a lot of rain here in the united kingdom um i, I saw one of them i don't know if i can find it right now but it was so funny it was basically saying how when you're at a self-service checkout and you're having a problem with it, you know, even though the big light is flashing <laughs> above you saying that you need help, you're still like waving and going, hello, excuse me, something wrong here. Anyway, I thought it was funny. But yeah, I just thought it'd be good to like just look through, as I say, there's really cute little pictures as well in it. Um, and yeah, so that's that one. Um, I got this one here. Now, <laughs> I know it's a bit random. This is Grizzly Graveyard, a scary pop-up book. I thought this would be great. It was like 75p. I thought this would be great for like Halloween. I'm already planning Halloween and it's months and months away, I know, but I love I love Halloween. A little bit too much, some may say. But I just thought this would be fun for a video or something. It's a pop-up book and I'm a big kid. I love pop-up books. Whenever I was a child and I'd get a pop-up book as a present, I'd just get so intensely excited. And I look, I'm still getting excited now, look witch in a cauldron there's something fun about pop-up books it's magical some may say but anyway yeah i picked that up <laughs> the most random buy i think of the whole and then i picked up a load of the ooh, i picked up a load of these uh, national geographic magazines now these were 20 pence each i mean that is a bargain right 20 pence each um and so yeah these aren't for me these are for nathan who really likes like his history stuff um and space and things like that so there were even more of these but what i did i phoned him and i read through what ones they had in the box so these are the ones we've kind of gone with the others i just left for you know someone else to get but 20p and yes they're you know probably a bit old i assume i don't even know when they're from hold on oh 2019 there we go but to be fair it's fine like it doesn't matter you can still read through them so i've got um history is it Boudicca or Bodicea? I always called it Bodicea, but I think it's Boudicca, isn't it? Uh, Britain takes on Rome. You've got the witch hunts, uh, Scotland's satanic panic, uh, birth of the vampire legends from Eastern Europe. Actually, this one does sound pretty cool. <laughs> I might have a little look through that myself. Um, then we've got about um, We Are Not Alone. Scientists say there must be other life in the universe. Here's how they're searching for it. See, I'm not really into my space, to be fair. I don't really... I don't know why I just don't find it interesting, but he does, and they're for him, so it's fine. Uh, then we've got Red Planet. Uh, this one's the new views of the cosmos and the moon, our lunar companion. But yeah, they're in like really good condition. I know that one's a little bit kind of battered, but apart from that, I think they're in really good condition. So that'll give him something to look through. And maybe after that, maybe my dad might want to borrow him or something, because he's into all the space stuff as well. So that is that. I think I've got one more book if i'm right yeah one more book to show you which is the three dahlias by katie watson um got this this is brand new brand spanking new in hardcover 
and uh, it's great. I've got it for like two quid, but it's actually just been announced that it's the book of the month for Waterstones, like Thriller, I think it's thr Thriller of the Month. Brilliant, you know, got it for two quid, bargain. Um, so it says, it wouldn't be a country house weekend without a little murder. This sounds so good that, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be putting it on my TBR and reading at some point in the next couple of months because I just really like the sound of it. And, uh, yeah, hold on. One murder mystery convention, three very unconventional detectives. Um, but, yeah, I think that sounds really cool. And um, the charity shop I got that in was Bernardo's, who I think you saw in the video, do a lot of, they do the second-hand books, but they also do a lot of brand-new books for, like, two quid. You get like you buy one and you get one free and things like that offers. And I think they said in the past, because I was like, where have you got all these brand-new books from? And the publishers donate it to them because uh, it's obviously for the charity and stuff. So it's really worth, if you're in South End and you're a bookworm like me, check out Bernardo's. It's right down the bottom of the high street near the Royals. Um, and yeah, it's just a really great place to find not only secondhand books, but brand spanking new books. So yeah, I mean, how much would this have been? Is there the price on it anywhere? Um, maybe in here is the price. There we go. This would have been $14.99 on hardcover. And I picked it up for £2. Bargain of the day. So, yeah, the books I'm most excited about from this little haul are Three Dahlias and One Girl in All the World, but I still need to find number one. If you know where I can get number one cheap, let me know, because I need it. Um, and, yeah, I'm quite excited to read this. It's so many years ago since I saw the Woman in Black film that it'd be cool to read it. So I, I don't know if it'd be more scary watching the film or reading the book. Hmm we'll see but anyway i hope you've enjoyed watching the video and, and coming shopping with me and if you'd like me to do this video again like something like this please let me know i love you know every so often just going around the charity shops and looking for books there's lots more charity shops that i can go to there's always new books coming in you know people buy the books then there's new books donated so you know there's always something new to find um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section down below if you'd like more of this kind of video. Um, don't forget, please give a big old thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Please leave a lovely comment. No trolling. <laughs> and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget, smash that notification bell to all notifications. Uh, then you can see when I'm, you know, uploading new videos, doing live streams, etc, etc. Check out my other channel, MinxLaw123 ASMR. Really appreciate that. Links down below for that. All my social media links down below. So come and follow me. Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads. Um, what else have we got? Hold on. Twitter, Instagram. Good. Oh, TikTok as well. And I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me. So um, there we go. Okay, everyone. Lots of love to you. Thank you so much for watching, my fellow bookworm buddies. And let me know in the comments section what book you are currently reading and also let me know if you like going charity shopping for books because honestly I, I as I said I love it you can get some really good bargains you can find books that you know just like hidden gems so it's all good for me but let me know if you enjoy it as well all right everyone thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video take care peace out bye